Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is per uh, percent fractions and decimals. Okay, so here we go. There's our common course strand for our teachers. And our question here is, uh, how can we write equivalent uh, percents, fractions, and decimals? Okay, so we can write a uh, percent as an equivalent fraction or as an equivalent decimal. Equivalent percents, decimals, and fractions all represent parts of the same whole. Remember, percents are always per 100, so we write them over 100. So here's an example. Uh, Daniel saves 35% uh, of his paycheck for a down payment on his new house. So write this percent as a fraction and as a decimal. Okay, so let's first uh, uh, write the percent as a fraction. Remember, uh, percents means per 100, so we write 35% as 35 over 100. Okay, so now we can uh, divide this by 5 and divide this by 5. So 35 divided by 5 is... Um, uh, 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 7 and then uh, 100 divided by 5 is 20. So I was kind of thinking ahead right there. So um, there's 35% uh, as 7 20ths right there. Now to write that as a decimal, you guys, so 35% is 35 over 100 or 35 hundredths, which is 0.35. Okay, so 35% written as a fraction is 7 20ths and written as a, a, a decimal is 0.35, okay? So the trick on uh, changing percents to decimals is uh, we move the decimal over two places to the left right there. Okay, so 35% is 35 hundredths, which is the same as 0.35. Remember, the, just, uh, the decimal's uh, hidden right there, so if we move it two places to the right, 35% equals 0.35, okay? All right, so it's important to write 35 with the percent symbol right there because that tells you that the decimal is written right there. Okay, anyways, so uh, write each percent as a fraction as an, and as a decimal. So let's go ahead and put these over 100 right there because percent means per 100. So 15 over 100, 75 over 100, and 48 over 100, okay? And then so that tells us um, that there they are as a decimal right there. So 15 hundredths is said 0.15. This says this ends in the hundredth spot. Here's the tenth spot, the hundredth spot. So uh, 15 hundredths, okay? This is 75 hundredths or 0.75. 48 hundredths or, or uh, 0.48. All right, let's reduce those fractions right there, okay? So here we can divide the top and bottom by 5, so this reduces to 3 20ths, okay? So 15% equals 0.15 and, and reduces to 3 20ths right there. Okay, this is 75 over 100, and we can divide both of those by 25, gives us 3 fourths. Probably some of you guys knew that already. So 3 fourths is equal to 0.75, and that equals 75%. Okay, 48 over 100, we can divide both of those by 4. That gives us 12 over 25, okay? All right, so here we're going to model decimals, fractions, and percent equivalency. So we're going to use models uh, to help us understand how decimals, fractions, and percents are related. So here's a model right here. So this grid right here represents a 10 by 10 grid represents hundredths right here. So here is 78 hundredths. So we'll put a 78 right there, 78 hundredths. So that means 78 out of 100 or 78 percent. Remember, 78 out of 100 is the same as 78 percent. So this will be 10%, uh, 20%, 30 40 50 60 70 and then we'll shade 8 of these, and that will represent 78% right there. Okay, so 78 out of 100 of those little squares are shaded. All right, so here is a 1.42. Okay, so 1.42 is going to be 100 out of 100 plus 42 out of 100 right there, okay? And then so that's going to give us 142 out of 100 right there, which is 1 and 42 out of 100. Okay, so 1.42 is the same as 100% plus 42%, which is 142%. So to change a decimal to a percent, we move the decimal two places to the right. So 1.42 is 142%. So we'll shade all of these hundreds right here to represent this 100%. Then over here, we'll shade 42 of them to re represent the 42% right there, okay? There's 142%, so we need two of the 10 by 10 grids with that. All right, same with this one, 125%, okay? So this model shows 100% plus 25% to give us 125%. So the decimal version of 125% is move the decimal two places to the left, so it gives us 
1.25. So 125% is the same as 100 over 100 plus 25 over 100, okay? Which is 125 over 100, or 1 and 25 over 100. And then this reduces, do you remember what 25 over 100? Divide those both by 25 and we get 1 fourth, okay? So here I'm going to use, um, uh, let's see, I'll use a uh, uh, this grid right here to represent a hundred percent so we'll use this and then we'll add 25 percent over here so there that is right there okay all right and then so um, uh, so what decimal fraction and percent equivalencies are shown in each model okay so the here is uh, this is hundreds right here and it looks like we have tens plus 3 is 13, so this would be 13 hundredths right there. So to represent it as a decimal is 0.13, as a fraction, 13 hundredths, and then as a percent is 13 percent. Okay, so 13 out of the 100 parts are shaded. Okay, so this is 100 percent, plus it looks like uh, these are uh, uh, 30 percent right there so 130 percent right there 130 percent is 1.3 which is the same as 1 and 30 one hundredths and they'll probably ask you to reduce that to 1 and 3 tenths right here can you see that that this is 1 tenth right here and this is 2 tenth and then this is 3 tenths right here so the tenths are all shaded so here's 1 and 3 tenths so one whole and then 30 out of uh, 100 are shaded. You can probably say one whole and three out of the ten are shaded right there also. All right, so we can write some fractions as percents by writing equivalent fractions that have denominators of 100. This method is useful when the fraction has a denominator that's either a factor or a multiple of 100. If the fraction does not have a denominator that's a factor or a multiple of 100, then we'll use long division, and we'll do both of those right here. So here, 96 out of 200 students are boys. So we're going to write 96 out of 200 as a decimal and a percent. Okay, can you see that 200 is a multiple of 100? So this one's easy. We can just change this by dividing this by 2, so we'll divide that by 2. And that'll help us out right there. So 96 out of 200 students are boys. So we're going to write, uh, uh, write an equivalent fraction that has a denominator of 100. Okay, so 96 out of, out of uh, whoops, I should say out of 200 right there. I'm, I goofed right there. This should say 200 right there. Okay, we're going to divide those both by 2s, and that's going to give us um, uh, 48 out of 100. So I'm going to have to do this on the rest of these slides. I email these to teachers in my district, and so I make mistakes all the time. Anyway, so we're going to write that decimal, um, write the decimal equivalency. So what's the decimal equivalency of 48 out of 100? Well, that is 48 hundredths, or 0.48 right there, okay? So uh, 48 out of 100 is 0.48, and sorry about this, you guys. So I'll just do the rest of that after the video. So write that as a percent. So 48 out of 100 is the same as 48%. Uh, okay, I'll do that later. So um, uh, percent means per 100 right there. Okay, so easy enough. So it said um, uh, write 96 out of 200 as a decimal and as a percent right there. I'll go back and change the rest. So, so as a uh, as a decimal, it's 0.48, and as a percent, it's 48% right there. Okay. All right. So here we have one eighth of the students in sixth grade are 10 years old. So write one eighth as a decimal and as a percent. Okay. Notice that the de denominator here is not a is not a factor or a multiple of 100. Eight doesn't go into 100 evenly, so we have to use long division on here. Okay. So we're going to divide the bottom into the top right here. Now since uh, 8 doesn't go into 1, we're going to add a decimal and we're going to add some zeros so we can um, uh, carry over and, and slide down and stuff. Okay, so here we go. 8 goes into 10 once, so 8 times 1 is 8, and when we subtract we get 2. Then we're going to slide that 0 down so we get 20. Okay, and then 8 goes into 20 twice. 8 times 2 is this 16. 20 minus 16 is 4. Let's slide the next uh, 0 down. We get 40. 8 goes into 40 uh, 5 times. So then we finally get a remainder of 0. So there's our decimal representation. The decimal equivalent of 1 8 is uh, 0.125. Okay, now this ends in the, here's the tenths, the hundredths, the thousandths. So this is 125 thousandths. So when we write that as a, uh, a percent right there, just think of it as 125 one thousandths. Now percent means 
per 100. So we're going to take that and divide both by 10, you guys, to make it per 100 right there. And when you divide by 10, you just move the decimal over one place to the left. So that gives us 12.5 over 100 right there. And then so there's our percent right there. It's 12.5% right there. Okay, so the percent equivalent of 1 8 is 12.5% is right there. Okay, now if you know that the decimal equivalent is 0.125, then move the decimal uh, two places to the right and that'll tell us the percent. To change this percent to a decimal we move it two places to the left right there. Alright you guys hope that makes sense and hope you're having a great year. Take care.